Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading. We're going to be having a look to see what your special person wishes they could tell you or reach out to you with or communicate to you or express to you um, at this point in time. Now this can be for someone you're currently in contact with or someone you're in no contact with as well. Um, and we're going to see uh, what's coming up around that, okay, what this person is coming up with. Um, for you cancer let's jump into it uh, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to the channel to receive updates for readings for your sign which are posted throughout the week otherwise thank you so much for being here cancer let's pull out some cards what do they wish to say Okay, Cancer, you've come up as your sign, as the chariot. Um, okay, so this person, you, you've come up very strongly for this person. They're very much thinking about you or their thoughts, um, their conversations, their words, their, their emotions are very much circulating around you, Cancer. And you've come up positively as the chariot. You're not reversed. So this person sees value in you currently, okay? Now, starting off with the Fool and reading it as a story, I'm inclined to believe that there was someone who made a mistake. Uh, there's someone here who wants to confess they were foolish or they embarrassed you or themselves in a certain situation here. Um, they're feeling a lot of loneliness, guilt, or they're possibly replaying something in, in, in their head. They possibly could miss talking to you at night or in the evenings. And there's an element where there's someone potentially feeling very lonely, Cancer. So they're feeling lonely or they're feeling some sort of void, especially if you haven't been in contact with this person. There's been a lot of thought about you, okay? They've been contemplating a lot of things. It's almost like he's reflecting here on what went wrong or um, what he could do better. Or he or she um, is, is focusing on these sorts of things. They're giving things a lot of deep contemplation. They want to reveal their feelings for you and they want to reveal they want a future here with you, Cancer. Um, but for some reason, they don't feel like they can take that step right now with the Fool card. The Fool is disorientated. The Fool doesn't really know what direction he wants to take things. Um, he has a burning desire, but he doesn't always um, know the way to pursue what it is that he wants. So maybe this person is feeling a little bit lost, okay? They want to say to you they're feeling lost. They want you, they just don't know how to get to you. And that confusion is, is really getting to them. Um, the Knight of Pentacle, uh, Knight of Cups, sorry, um, I consider him to be someone who wears their heart on their sleeve and someone who's freely able to express their emotions and how they feel without feeling things like shyness or guilt or letting ego get in the way. So it makes me think there's someone here who wants to express their love or their emotions towards you. They're ready to do that, I feel, or they're in a stage where they want to talk to you and they want to tell you just how strongly they feel. There's potentially someone here who says they want to move forward or they want to move past something. Now the chariot um, was used for war, was used for conquest, was used for transportation, and it was something that overcame hurdles. Um, and, and when we think of conquest and we think of achieving something successfully and, and, and getting over something here, maybe there's someone here who wants to tell you they want to get over something and they want to move past it um cancer but the nine of swords tells me that there, there may have been a conversation or maybe words that were exchanged that have since stayed with this person um it could have been certain things you've said certain words that you've used that have stayed with them that have stayed with them so much that it keeps them up at night maybe it gets them emotionally very very upset maybe they've cried about it you can see he's almost sobbing here and it's such a stark contrast because the words have affected the future somehow um, either your present connection together or the words have affected your long-term vision particularly if you had a vision of children of marriage or you wanted to get back together or you have children you have marriage you have a family home together um, this is definitely more heightened for this person in this instance okay so straight away i'm being drawn to the fact that They've really dwelt on this and these words have impacted them. Um, the rainbow is here, so it makes me think about forgiveness. It makes me think that someone is, is wanting the good things or wanting the good memories or wanting the good aspect 
of things of your relationship, of the way you connect. Um, they're wanting those things. They're craving those things. But they're still in armor. So it makes me think they're still trying to protect themselves emotionally. Okay, what's the, the chariot here? It's protection. Okay, um, the swords can be defensive as well. So the reason they're not reaching out or the reason they're, they're not choosing to tell you these things is because they're protecting themselves. Because they feel they either are too emotionally vulnerable that you can hurt them again or hurt them for the first time. Or it's just that they're just trying to protect their heart. Maybe they've made mistakes like this before and it hasn't gone down well. Um, you know, but there's, there's, there's all these things that were left unsaid or things that there was no time to say. And I don't think you and this person um, really reached the potential of your communication. I think there was a lot of things that were left unsaid. Um, there seems to be like limits maybe here. So... Maybe the conversation ended early, maybe the two of you had to part ways, maybe time was running out, maybe you blocked each other, maybe something happened here and, and to, uh, they felt they couldn't say the right things at the right moment because the right moment didn't pop up. Um, they might have felt overwhelmed by other things they were going on and they felt foolish. They felt foolish that they couldn't freely say it, but they're just in a position where they they couldn't. They may, I mean, it's the Ten of Cups and the Chariot make me think that there's someone here who still, who still sees you as that person, the person that they want that Ten of Cups with, the person that they want that Happily Ever After card. I think there's just someone who's very hurt and they keep dwelling, they keep shifting their focus back to that Seven of Pentacles and... Maybe they feel foolish, they, they trusted you, they felt foolish, they believed you in something. Um, maybe they felt foolish that maybe you recently told them how you really do feel about them and what you really do think about them. All those sorts of thoughts are running through their head now, Cancer. So they're dealing with a lot um, and I hope this has sort of given you some sort of insight into what they're feeling and what they wish they could say to you. I do think they want to express something emotionally. They're just very guarded to do that. And they keep revisiting these certain thoughts. And when they do revisit these thoughts, they want to tell you they feel like a fool. Okay, it's sort of the sun is here. So the sun, it illuminates things. It shines light on things. It sheds light. So every time they think about that, it's like a cycle. They get into it all over again and they start to feel lost. There is someone here who feels somewhat lost without you though. Maybe they used to have a routine, used to speak a certain time of day. Um, used to contact each other about certain things. I think they miss that sort of connection, Cancer. But I will leave it at that. So thank you again for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.